So essentially, I'm, I'm studying this three-way interaction between microbes, the immune system, and the nervous system. I got into microbiology uh, through my parents, who are art historians. And uh, when I was little, I used to travel throughout Europe with them, and they would give lectures uh, on um, various representations of illness in art. And every time we would talk about another infectious disease or epidemic that came through Europe, they would show me examples of um, how this would disrupt the political system or how it would uh, change the outcome of a war. Um, there was a lot of literature and art um, uh, addressing um, various epidemics. And so I, I came away from, from those experiences with this um, maybe unusually uh, profound understanding of how infection has really changed the course of human history, especially some of these more poorly understood infections like leprosy, uh, tuberculosis, typhoid fever, um, uh, the bubonic plague even. These are things that literally changed our DNA, right? Because half of or a third of Europe was eliminated. So all of that genetic diversity just went away. So the two primary questions that my lab is investigating right now are two examples of different neurological infections. Um, so one of them is leprosy, which is a infection of the peripheral nerves by a species of bacteria called Mycobacterium leprae. Half my lab works on that. The other half of my lab works on uh, mycobacterial infections of the brain, which are typically TB meningitis is the, the most common of those. And in each disease, we're interested in understanding how does the microbe regulate inflammation within the nervous system, and then how does that inflammation uh, destroy the cells of the nervous system and change their function. Uh, with leprosy, there are certain genes that are known to increase your susceptibility to leprosy. Those are the same genes that increase your susceptibility to Parkinson's disease. So the question there is why is there this shared genetic susceptibility to an infection, an infection that causes neurodegeneration, leprosy, and Parkinson's disease, which is not infectious as far as we can tell. So to me, it suggests that there's potentially a shared pathway between these two forms of neurodegeneration and these two diseases. So the number one model organism that we use are zebrafish. And one of the really remarkable things about them is that they are completely optically transparent, sort of like glass. So zebrafish have been used in uh, neuroscience for decades. And there's uh, an increasing use of them in immunology. But no one has really brought together the neuroscience tools in zebrafish and the immunology tools in zebrafish. So I'm basically combining those two, two tool sets in the context of infection. And so the combination of the genetics and the imaging gives us this unprecedented view of neurological infections that, that is not available in any other model organism.